What up? It's your boy King Dow 225 coming at you with another reactionary video. So hit that like, subscribe, become part of the kingdom. She belonged to the streets. Police edition. Now I made a lot of videos talking about police brutality within my community. Cause you know, it's a big one channel. Made a lot of videos about ratchet thought life behavior coming from my females within the big one community. But never would I never imagine that that life and police would combine. Oh, man. Married Tennessee female cop allegedly gangbanging. <laughs> Is that funny? Hearing gang and police in the same sentence. But they not talk about no pew pew gang. <laughs> Entire department got five officers, got five officers, all five. Man, listen, I done made plenty of suggestions on how to reform police. They need to see therapy two times a month, you know. God damn, I might have to bump that up to once a week if, if we celebrating top behavior on police force. See, police supposed to be better than I ain't supposed to do crimes but they do crimes too I ain't supposed to I supposed to be a SLUT on my own time but look at this shit let's get to the video No, y'all seen it shocked and disappointed that's the word from one city leader as several Laverne police officers are off the job all linked to a sexual misconduct scandal. Good evening, I'm Vicki Yates. And I'm Rory John. One off, one female take down all these men. They probably definitely, and why the fuck is y'all two up there? Hey, getting away free snacks. Yeah, tonight News Channel 5's Nick Barris shares the very latest developments as this investigation continues. What do they call it? When you sue the person who your significant other cheating with, alienation of affection. Can this guy, the husband, sue the six officers, the city, and the goddamn police force for alienation of affection? Bro, man, that might be the <laughs> that might be the best time to have a thought a thought wife. Who's the one you can benefit off of financially? So if you hear me, husband out there, alienation of affection to a police department, man, what they always gonna say about that shit? Several Laverne police officers here are caught up in something of a scandal. Everything from inappropriate sexual conduct, sexual harassment, lying, and word is, that's not the end of it. Shocked and overall disappointed with uh our police department and what's what's happened newly elected alderman kara hobbs says since the story broke on friday she's been flooded with constituent calls it's been really frustrating from a leadership standpoint to have citizens questions and concerns regarding this and i'm learning the details right along with the general public here's what we know an internal investigative report documents explicit and graphic detail of officers involved in sexual misconduct some of it happening while on duty and on city property Five have been fired. Patrol Officer Megan Hall, Patrol Officer Juan Lugo Perez, Sergeant Lewis Powell, Detective Seneca Shields, and Sergeant Henry Ty McGowan. Three others have been suspended. K-9 Officer Larry Holliday, Patrol Officer Patrick Magliocco, and Patrol Officer Gavin Schoberl. Hobbs says details of the investigation made public so far have shaken public confidence in the PD. There's definitely going to be a, a time period where we're going to have to really emphasize rebuilding the trust of our, our community. Yeah. Police Chief Chip Davis issued a statement saying, in part, the actions of a few do not represent the entire department. The situation will be addressed internally. That nigga said the actions of a few. That look like they had a whole damn police force. Banged out and that counselors are being brought in to help officers. He also says there is sufficient staff remaining to cover all patrol shifts. At this point, these are all internal police department violations, but I did talk to the Rutherford County District Attorney. He says at this point there's no evidence of criminal activity, but it's something he will be watching very closely. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. All right.
right, Nick, thank you. By the way, Laverne's mayor, Jason Cole, said he thinks the situation is unacceptable. His top priority is rebuilding the trust between the department and the public. You can read more on the report right now on newschannel5.com. Oh, that lie. See, my part of me like, what it matter? Who the fuck I'm fucking? Or if I'm married and I'm banging all police officers. Clearly, they don't have no kind of affectionate connection with you because they pass you around like you motherfucking collection plate. So why does it matter? I ain't, I ain't being you no know, police brutality. I ain't, I ain't breaking no other laws. I'm just breaking, you know, an unwritten code. Or maybe it is a rule in the police handbook. Don't have no fraternizing with one another. But damn. And y'all was dumb enough. All oh, y'all fell for that. That's some group think type shit. Oh, he hit it, he hit it, man. Eventually, y'all gonna get busted. A bit of advice for you young men out there. Uh, I always go with your gut. Just because your friend's doing some, some shit, don't get caught up and do it with them. Um, I never participate in, never participated in, um, train activity choo choo you know what i mean never participate i'm like nah it's too many dudes not enough nah that's almost g-a-y so i would advise you anytime you have a bunch of dudes and only a few women it ain't never gonna end good for you bro extricate yourself from that situation or don't go it's never worth it I would have never, I would have never jeopardized my high paying job or mediocre paying job for um, an average looking pilgrim. Hit that like and subscribe, become part of the kingdom.